guys. We're cooking again today, and today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest cake ever. Like, uh, I don't think it can get any easier than this cake, but it's really good. It's a really good cake, and um, it's pretty healthy for a cake. It's it's not too um, too fattening. Not a whole lot of sugar is in it. So. Um, Let's get to making it because it's not going to take very long. First, you're going to start out with um, a box of white an angel food cake mix. And I just found some Betty Crocker here. So just go ahead and pour that into a bowl. Woo! What like powder then? Once the smoke clears, hello, you're going to take any of your favorite pie fillings. I'm going to use blueberry. Um, this has no high fructose corn syrup, um, so that helps a lot with the sugar content. You can also do, if you like lemon, you can do like a lemon pie filling. Um, one time I sent my husband to go get the blueberry and he accidentally got the blackberry and we did blackberry pie filling. So pretty much you can just go to the store and just get you a 21 ounce can of um, pie filling of, of your choice. And all you're going to do is you're going to um, add it into the cake mix. It's really sticky. The hardest part of this cake, this making this cake, is getting the blueberries out of the can. Oh yes. This takes skill without cutting yourself, because my electric, uh, what do you call it, my electric can opener doesn't like to go all the way around it, even if I try it a billion times. So, anyways, so we got it in there. Just mix it together, folks. Mix it really well. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's so easy, you have to make a mess. Otherwise, it won't feel like it's that easy. But it comes together really pretty. Nice purple. But, you know, it's something nice and light. You know, a lot of times with angel food cakes, we'll uh, do the strawberries or the, and the whipped cream. Um, and this is just kind of nice because it's just another way to eat um, angel food cakes. Um, as a light summer uh, dessert, you know, when you're when it's summertime, you just don't want anything really heavy. So, all right, we've got that all mixed up and together, very much well incorporated. Now I'm going to take a um, bunt pan and I've sprayed down all the sides, and I'm just going to plop it in. Oh, look at that. I still have some stuff. I lied. It's not well incorporated at the bottom. Incorporate. Come on, y'all. Embarrassing me like that. Showing out. Taking these people on YouTube think I don't know what I'm doing. I'll show you blueberry cake. Alright. So, while I've got this going on, um, my oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. Now, I have a really dark bunt cake uh, pan, so I have to really watch it or it'll burn really easily. But um, all you're going to do is you're going to stick it in the oven on um, 350 degrees for 35 minutes. <laughs> That's it. That's literally all you have to do for this cake. Awesome, right? So that around and then I'm going to get this in the oven and then we'll check it out whenever it comes back out. Okay guys, the cake is finished cooking. I've let it sit out a little bit. It looks really funky and um, when you're baking it, it puffs up really high and it kind of goes over the edges a little bit, but it won't spill out. It'll stay in your pan. Um, so I'm going to just... Uh, Get it onto my cake pan here, or my cake dish here. Alright, and see some of my edges are, as you guys can tell, but some of the edges are done a little bit. 
But um, what I can do now is I can just, you know, sprinkle it with a little bit of powdered sugar or I can serve it with um, some blueberries and some whipped cream. So we'll see, but this is, this is the end result and it's still got the consistency of Angel Food Cake. It's real light and fluffy and um, looks really good. Let me see if I can cut a piece open for you guys so you can see what it looks like inside. Take one for the team, right? Yeah! So, you can see the blueberries inside and it's just really light and fluffy. So, uh, we'll be having those for dessert and it's not a too terribly guilty type of a um, uh, dessert. So I uh, hope you guys like the recipe and try it out using your pa favorite pie.